Thank you. I'm at a place called Randy Land. It's actually pretty iconic for Pittsburgh. I never take a day off. Work around the clock. My engineer getting paid off. Rock like Ace Up. Light the weed and take off. So high I cannot see. Ate off. Now I got these rappers all breaking up a sweat. Cause every time I get up on the mic. Win, 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 win. Fuck. Uh, where's my money? Where's my money, Michelle? You owe me thirty dollars. So my original question is that as an artist, like I sometimes feel like I get like my creativity blocked. Oh yeah. How do you how do you find yourself to be able to overcome that obstacle? Oh, that's easy peasy. You just go ahead and you don't think about it. You just dive in. See, everybody with a brain has been taught that you have to have so many steps. You know, use your brain, you use your heart. You see? Whenever the brain teaches you that there's so many rules of thinking and saying and talking, it's they, they, they give you like one through ten steps. Everything in life seems like it, it always it becomes a complication to get there. No, if you just swim, with your heart and say, it doesn't matter. I, I just, I know what this is telling me, but this is the key. And so, swim, dive in, dive in. dance, That's and feel the heartbeat of the product or your hammer. I see it, smell it, taste it, hug it. So I become what I want to create. So you're not separate from it, you become one with it. And well, and it's easy peasy. It's easy peasy. Thank you. All right, so thank you, man. Yeah, bye bye. Hey, keep going. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 never, ever underestimate who you are, what you are, what you could be, what you should be. You're so much more than that could even. I mean, come on. You know that. I know that. So live it. Woo! Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm not old enough to rent from Enterprise, so I have to get a U-Haul truck because you only have to be 18 to rent from U-Haul, but I have to drive it around in the city, which isn't too much of a big problem. I can drive trucks. The only issue is it's in the city and parallel parking a truck. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Do you guys happen to have a truck available today? Unfortunately, all of our pickup trucks are out, so I do not have any pickup trucks. Do you have anything else? Like uh, I have cargo van. I forgot to record everything of getting the U-Haul truck, but we ended up getting it, and now I'm driving around the city. But now we're on our way to Giant Eagle because Michelle is hungry, and she wants some food. Is this right, Michelle? <laughs> no. What you got on this, Mitchie? <laughs> what you? I'm driving around in a V8. You're driving around in a four-cylinder. Now, if I want to abduct kids, I can. Just throw them in the back, and then that's it. For $19.95. I'm actually here at Giant Eagle. I did work at Giant Eagle, but I got fired. I get fired from a lot of jobs. That's, that's probably bad. In life, I think I've gotten fired at least like seven, eight times. Will you sing a song with me? Please. One, two, three. It's so wonderful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Thank you very much. Mount Washington and it's kind of it's really cool because it's like a platform that comes out on side of the mountain and it looks like this look how cool this place is hold up she's only five feet so let me raise it a couple of feet <laughs> I'm only five seven I don't got too much room to play yeah look at that 
Oh, look, the truth. Look right there. My goodness. Well, you can see. Because my dad didn't teach me when I was little, so like, I, I don't know. Right <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I'm also thinking, like, the so bio, like, communication things, the bio class, like, the writing one. I feel like one I could talk about is I shadowed an internal medicine doctor um, a while ago and she was on call so I remember she got a page like one time we went to the room and like a man was being resuscitated and she would like she was going to like help with that and I just remember like it was so intense I feel like that was the first time that I'd have ever seen that in person so I feel like that kind of was eye-opening because it made me realize that you know you actually have like responsibility like being a doctor like you have somebody's life to take care of at first that scared me for sure but then I realized like it is kind of something that I would want like the responsibility and everything so that was really cool and it was also just like cool to see like all the effort and everything that she needed to put in yeah 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 Rap Diablo, yeah, yeah. You going now? Yep. All right, bye, Mitchy. Literally just finished off dropping off Michelle. I have no idea where to go in a big ass city that I'm not even from. I have to find something to do for the next three hours. I have to find something to do. Since I have three hours to kill, I'm literally just going anywhere and everywhere I can think of. Right now, I'm going about to go to this place called the Cathedral. The Cathedral is basically in Pittsburgh, this gigantic tower where all these students, these college students go, and they go up and they study. But this is kind of cool. Look how tall it is. This is the floor where I'm at right now in the grass. This thing just goes all the way up. You can't really tell probably in the video, but I have a picture I'm going to put in to give you guys a perspective. It's the Rap Diablo, macho when I drop flows, bar gets raised up, it's me and Petey Pablo, colder than gazpacho, colder than the mano, rapping head honcho, rocking shows like I was Bono, I go, play a couple keys on the piano. After living here for about four, four or five days, I honestly would not mind moving to a city and living here. It's just when you when you live in a small town right you gotta you gotta figure out what there is to do what there isn't to do what events happening well here in like the city it's just like anywhere you go there's an event there's something happening and it's nice to be able to have something to do but like i wouldn't move to pittsburgh mainly because i don't go to school here i don't have a job here so there's really no purpose for me to go here however Living in a city, pretty nice. I literally have no idea. I'm literally just spitballing anything and everything I can do here. 27, 26, 25. I hate when the elevator comes down. Like... That was the most awkward moment I've had all day. It was in the elevator. Why? <laughs> Stuff I do for the vlogs. Ugh. It was such an awkward moment. I'm so glad we didn't say anything. You gotta stay hydrated when you're traveling. Dehydration's up, bitch. For those that didn't know, you know the Heinz brand, the ketchup bottle, the packet? They have a chapel. This thing's humongous. They're making Pablo Escobar money. That's insane. I'm on my way to pick up Michelle. Issue is I don't know if she's actually at the thing still. Hello. Where are you at? Who's gonna be picking you up? It's, you. It's gonna be... My daddy. Oh, I got it on video. 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 You can't go back from it. I literally, I'm literally vlogging right now. I got you. I got you. All right, I'm on my way. Okay, I'm sitting out in the front. This is me just trying to figure out where. I pulled over because I had no idea where I was going. So, and she also sent me the location. So, six minutes away. If I hit a UE on this road that I'm on right now, I can get to her in five minutes. That's only because I missed. Oh, wow. I, I missed two road okay so we're hitting a yui oh 
What's the hardest part about vlogging when you're all by yourself? Ah, oh, so many people. Hitting a UE in the city is not ideal at all. And there, go, there goes my camera. And there's a bus coming. <laughs> we made it, we made it baby, we made it baby, we made it. <laughs> we gotta get out of this lane, there's a bus coming. This is a bus lane. Oh. <laughs> All right, chicken spot. I've seen the chicken wing plates. I think we just passed it. Did we? Mm -hmm. Let's see, check out something. Yeah, it was chicken and fish. Well, I guess we gonna park at CBS. Hey. This is this is one of my favorite things about being in, in like the U-Haul truck. Mm -hmm. They were gonna give us a pickup truck, but then they gave us a cargo van. I didn't think it was gonna be a good idea. And to the ability of this, when you're in the city, you can't find parking. When you can't find parking, trying to find a bathroom is a nightmare. And when you gotta go, it's horrible. However, most most of your boyfriends have to use, like, if they pee in a bottle, they have to use an Aquafina. Me, I have to use at least a vitamin water bottle or a Gatorade bottle. I'll leave that up for interpretation. I hope I don't pee anywhere near me. Ooh, this bottle almost slipped out of my hand. All right, every time I travel, I, I every time, Every single time I go somewhere, I always like to try the best chicken wings, see if they have anything good, if it's better. I'm grading Pittsburgh. One through ten. One through ten. That's so right now we come to a place that's pretty known. It's called Chicken and Fish in Pittsburgh. It is not very known. Okay, it's not very known. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on the map. However, I ordered six wings and some fries and their lemon pepper. Lemon pepper wings. By the way, how you just I can't even be mad. It's just city so loud. It just <laughs> happens all the time. One through ten, I'm gonna see how good it is. If it's bad, I'm giving it a one. If it's a ten, you have to be perfect on the ten. See what you got. Fries look pretty good. Nice and crispy on the outside. Nice and white on the inside. Pretty good. This is what I'll this is the big guy I want. That's a meaty one. Yes, sir. That's what we like right there. That is good. So they got, they also got some like white powder on there. I think they said it's lemon pepper. All right, this is the first taste test. I'm a real man. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Good con. One through ten, I give it a 7.5. What do you mean? 7.5 for the tenders. Years old with a dream When my moms told me I could do anything Said she'd be there forever No matter what's the weather She'd always have my back even when we weren't together And I took her for granted I thought I had a plan It's a different generation I don't think you'd understand In the quest to be a man You start to learn you need your family It wasn't for them I'll be with I touched the peacock Just edit out the word P well, <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm kidding Is it not called a peacock? No, cause no, never mind. You wouldn't get. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> no. I don't know. The Adam Sandler movie. Oh. oh. No, 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 no. It's a Mark Wahlberg movie. It's the other oh, guys. Oh, then no.
Anybody that's came in on this coach, he is ready, let's go. If you're starting in this work with a 915, break your phone for it. It is one's Washington DC, go away number five. No, New York's at three. It's one of the ABs from his last head. The partner? It's back out. It's not. I'm finally being able to go home after four days of constant traveling, not knowing the best places to eat. Complete different schedule in an area that I'm not from. I finally get to go home to the place that I, I call home. That I call home. We were 30 minutes away. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to get there. The second I get home, we'll be at 1 a.m. I gotta be up at 6 a.m. again to go to work. This traveling stuff will put a toll on you. I cannot say that it's not been a good time. It's been a great time, great experience, great eye opener, actually.